Okay, so what is up everyone? This is Karen here. Welcome back to Tech Karen YouTube channel. The latest MIUI 12 Global India Global Stable based on the latest again Android version 10 but with the latest security patch of 1st of January 2021 the OTA update is here it's available as an OTA update it's available as a recovery update also both of the links in the description make sure to check out them and if you want to install it I'm going to show you some changes which you get in this latest update of Redmi Note 8 based on MIUI 12 which is not MIUI 12.5 but maybe a proprietary update before the MIUI 12.5 let's find out Guys, this one is the OTA update called MIUI 12.0.2.0 India Stable Version. The previous update was 12.0.1.0 India Global Stable, which is already available and has been available for a lot of devices. If we check out the change log, we have this kind of change log option available. Android security patch to January 2021 increase system security, which is kind of the same change log between for other devices also like Redmi Note 9 Pro also got this kind of a same change log. And now they said the optimization control center layout in landscape mode is optimized. But let me show you the control center first of all. If I swipe down, you can see here it's official. It's not a bug. In EU ROM, in Xiaomi EU ROMs, when it was first available, as this background a gray background some guys were reporting that this might be a bug will be fixed in the next update but for your kind information this is available in this now latest India stable it's not a bug they just removed the background blur and now just because the background blur is removed the performance is quite smooth you can see the control center is very very smooth after using it for a little bit of time not actually much we have all those same kind of things available, Zilli, Moze, the Blotware apps which were expected to be downloaded after installing this update for the first time after on your device after OD update you will get all these apps again installed. So make sure you have a proper internet connection for kind of approximately 1 GB plus because it will take some time. OT update is not much more than 300 to 400 MB but if you want to install it as a recovery update then you need to download approximately 2.6 GB. I have a file already available. I'm just going to share with you that how you can update that. Let me show you some things which you get here first change. If you swipe down, we have the app drawer and now we have this kind of quick search option available which was not available previously but now it's available here. Let me show you by going into settings. If, if we go to the settings option, if we go to the home screen option, if we go to the app drawer option, here we have many kind of options available which were not available previously. We have the app suggestions. Yes, this was available. App categories, background, you can adjust, scroll bar, adjust. These are some two new changes, two new things which are added in this build which is called in-app query mode and open search after opening app drawer. So if you disable this, then after opening this, you will not see the search bar appear there. But if you enable that, and then whenever you open your app drawer, you will see search bar will be appear top of the screen. So this seems to be a really interesting kind of thing here but still no MIUI 12.5 and also not Android version 11 as Android 11 is officially already available in China but not in India, not in globally but actually that's based on MIUI 12.5 so which means Redmi Note 8 users will get MIUI 12.5 based on Android version 11. Also as I previously told you control center background is now grey hair smoothness is good it's looking quite good here quite smooth here but the thing is the background blur is quite good and in this gray blur gray kind of background the control center doesn't seem to be really interesting moving on to the settings and let me show you another change here if you go for the display option now we have the light mode and dark mode or you can say dark mode 3.2 the latest update of display of light mode and dark mode is now available here you can simply schedule the dark mode if you want to reading mode etc has the same kind of things brightness level has the same kind of things nothing else to talk about here and other things are same here home screen i already shown you it does not include the super wallpapers also it does not include the horizontal recents so features of course were expected are missing here but still little bit of features are available etc you can see home screen layout uh, you can simply adjust to 4 by 6 or 5 by 6 nothing else here also if you go for the icon size you can simply check your icon size but you cannot change the icons which is a very good kind of feature in MIUI 12.5 but that's also not a big case. Password security, fingerprint face lock as expected the same here available here. Digital well-being option is available here too. If you want to use them, it's, it's up to you. You can use that. Latest security patch, dark mode 3.0, home screen related things. But all these things are normal here. Or you can see the control center. And one thing, if I, I, was, just, I was just able to miss that, uh, let me show you by going to full screen display. I'm using full screen gestures, no pill, no full screen like floating windows. You can see here split screen, 
which means the main thing is still missing from here. So a little bit of disappointment for the Redmi Note 8 users, but of course that's not a big case. It's better to wait for me at 12.5. If you still want to install this link for the OT update is in the description. You can simply go to your, you can simply move on to settings. You can simply move on to your about phone here and you will see the OT update there. If you are, if you are on me at 12.0.1.0 and if you are on other, if you are on other custom room or whatever else you want to install this as a recovery room, link for this build in the description, move into custom recovery and install the update and then if you want to or else you can wait for me at 12.5 this is all thanks for watching and goodbye